Okay, so this first video is showing you how to adjust your Bunsen burner. So each lab bench will have a Bunsen burner for two people to share, and it has this nice insulated uh, tubing for the gas. You're going to attach it to the gas nozzle like this, and I really push it on there pretty tight. When the gas knob is perpendicular, that means the gas is off. When you pull the gas knob parallel, that means the gas is on. When you first hook up your Bunsen burner, you might notice that it's sideways or something like this. All you have to do is um, twist this black rubber until the Bunsen burner will sit down. See now if I twist it that way, it's a kilter again. And then if I twist it back, it will sit down. See that's too far the other way. That's too far. And then it sits good. Okay. Now to turn um, on your Bunsen burner, you're going to need a striker. And, um, well, I'll come to the loop in a second, I guess. So I'm going to move this parallel so the gas is on. And then I'm going to strike over the top of the Bunsen burner. And that's actually a perfect flame right there already. You'll notice, I'll use the loop to show you, it has this inner blue cone, and that's what you want to see. And then there's an outer lighter or darker blue cone. A problem would be, though, is if there was too much air coming through the Bunsen burner. This is called the barrel, and it twists. You can see what would happen if this would be a bad flame. See, you can't see an inner blue cone. So what I'll do is tighten down the barrel until I see that cone. See the cone there? Now I'm going to sharpen it up a bit like that, and that's pretty much perfect. Maybe the flame is a little too vigorous for what you and your partner want. If that's the case, then you can turn it down a little bit with the knob this way. But if you go too far, the whole thing will go out. See how I turned it down just a little bit that way? That's still a nice flame. Now the whole purpose of the flame is to sterilize your inoculating needle. This is what you'll be transferring bacteria with. So in order to sterilize it, you're going to put it in the flame and try to get about 90% of that wire an orange color. And as soon as it turns orange, you know that it's been uh, properly sterilized. So I put my hand in at an angle, and then the whole thing is orange right there, except for that last centimeter or so of the loop, and that would be considered sterile. You can set it on the table to cool after you've done that. What I don't want you to do is set the loop onto the rubber hose because it will melt it and damage the hose. Okay, I'll show you that one more time from a slightly different angle. Notice that the angle of that I'm holding the inoculating loop at is about one o'clock. If I go too high, I'm gonna burn my fingers. If I go, let's say three o'clock, which would be really bad, see how I can't get the whole thing orange? So somewhere right about here is where you want to um, hold your loop. If you can continue to have troubles getting the whole thing orange, it could mean that your loop is bent, and you can either try to bend it back till it's straight or just get a different loop. If it's curved, you will have more trouble sterilizing. Okay, see you in the lab.